You're living in your own private Idaho. Nah, I'm just playing with you. Uh, we've got uh, question number 18 is what we're looking at here. Thanks for joining me. Question 18 on 2017. Kaylee, if you're wondering why I was singing, I took a break to listen to the music of the B-52s because our answer for question 17 was B-52. Anyway, we're back. We're thinking about math now. Question 18. The number of integers n for which 1 seventh is less than or equal to 6 over n it's less than or equal to 1 over 4 is. All right, now this looks like one big inequality, but what we can do is we can actually rearrange and get two inequalities. So really, we're trying to satisfy 1 seventh less than 6 over n, and at the same time, 6 over n less than or equal to 1 fourth. And those are less than or equal signs, right? They are. So this makes it really easy. Multiply, just cross multiply, multiply by 7 on both sides and multiply by n on both sides. And we'll get n is less than or equal to 42. And multiplying again, 24 less than or equal to n. So combining these two facts, we have uh, 24 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 42. Now what exactly did we want? The number of n? The number of n that satisfy this. Well, how do I uh, figure out the number of numbers inclusive? top number minus bottom number, and then you have to add 1. 42 minus 24 is the number of numbers after 24 up till and including 42, but we have to include one extra number for 24. So 42 minus 24, if you need to grab your calculator, uh, if you do it in your head, that's great too, and it's going to be 19. All right, so that uh, gives us C19. No, 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 19. And um, I will see you guys for question at number 19 in the next video. Have yourselves a wonderful day in the meantime.